What's up guys, it's your boy Z here and um, I don't usually do a lot of videos where I explain how to play specific brawlers but I have been playing Fang since release and he has been my favorite like he has been my favorite brawler ever since he was released and I have been playing him for quite a while so in this video I'll be explaining 20 essential Fang skills you need to have when you play him and uh, we'll start with the counter stun the counter stun is essentially an uno reverse that you can play when an enemy has a dash ability comes towards you and then you stun them this is the most satisfying to do against Buzz, but you can also do against Colette, you can do against Daryl, basically any brawler that just rushes towards you instantly negate any value that they create from their supers. The burst super, now this is something a lot of people know about, is that Fang can instantly unload a main attack right after using his super. So essentially what happens is you rush forward and the second your super connects, you hit the red button. It's fairly simple. You can combine this, uh, the burst super in multiple ways. There are two main combinations. So the first combination is good for dealing damage fast. You need to follow this pattern. Super, then red gadget red red or you can even do super red red gadget red uh, I personally do the gadget at step 3 but really you can do this in any of the two orders and the second combination is good for getting more supercharge out of it and the second one which gives you more supercharge is red super red gadget red so you essentially alternate the super and the gadget in between your three red ammos and this is good for charging your super because you're already hitting an early shot before supering in so you're essentially charging the super before your super even hits so make sure that you actually um fire your super before before you fire the main shot otherwise it's going to be completely useless so these are the two super combos that you can use more often than not you'll be using the first one but if you can get the second one down then it's going to give you much more value scan super um a scan super is when you're shooting to check the bushes uh, looking for enemies and then the second you realize you hit one you super towards them it's very easy to do but uh, the main thing is that every time you fire your red attack your, your finger needs to go from red to the super like you need to switch your finger instantly so that you're ready to fire the super in case you do hit someone in a bush next is the split super and this one is more situational you won't be using it all the time but it's essentially if you have one of your enemies down below 500 health what you can essentially do is fire off a single shot you can fire off your shoe towards the enemy who is below 500 and then fire your super towards the enemy who is a little bit higher now you won't be using this all the time and even the clip i'm showing you now is just a demonstration because here you would just you know just chain left and right but this is good for when your enemy if you want to be fancy it's good or if your enemies are in like two different locations where you can't chain off of one onto the next person that's another good place where you can use this the wall pierce okay another basic uh fanged tip i guess i mean it's not even a tip most people know this um fang can attack effectively attack through walls you can even auto aim this and it's very good at dealing with enemies who would effectively counter you if you were in their face like something like a shelly a chester mm, a flick fire so flick fire is this is how you should aim with fang um don't hold your attack for too long because if you are ever rushed then you won't be able to react fast enough instead what you want to do is like gently just flick your your reticle the the white box just flick your reticle in the general direction you want to shoot before shooting and this is how you should be doing most of it even at short range it's best that you do this unless you're facing a single enemy if you're facing one enemy it's better that you auto aim on them but if you're facing multiple enemies in a short range or medium range distance you want to flick fire because you need to be able to aim your shots and hit the right people spot prediction um spot prediction is a bit more complex it's not a very simple thing um spot prediction is what it is is essentially you supering towards an enemy that you cannot see and i call it spot prediction because you should only do this if you know where, where your enemy is going to be and you should only do this if you know what your enemy is going to be for example you don't want to super in an empty bush that's a waste of your super and you also don't want to super into like a shelly or something so assuming you know who you're going up against it can be very beneficial if you can get the spot prediction correct misdirection so misdirection is not something a lot of people think about when they're playing fang and it essentially means that um you trick your enemies into believing you're attacking one enemy but then you like super towards another one and this is very useful in catching enemies off guard but if you have this is that fang super is very fast and you of course you have your stun and your you know the burst damage as well if you can trick an enemy into believing that you're not focusing on them then you can easily just super towards them and you'll be done with it but before we head on to the rest of the video i want to talk about today's sponsor me that's right i'm sponsoring this video and i'm here to tell you guys about my supercell make skin pumpkin plunderer fang Ooh, here it is on the screen right now it's this fun skin concept that highlights uh the goofy nature of fang's character as well as his whole like thing about kickboxing he has one foot in the pumpkin his short range attack will create a pumpkin explosion his long range attack will just throw a flying pumpkin and his super will be this really cool jack-o-lantern effect i feel like this skin really exemplifies his character and would be pretty fun to look at and have in game as well so if you guys like the idea of this skin i've linked the skin down below you can go and vote right now now on supercellmech.com hashtag supercellmech hashtag pumpkin plunderer fang and now back to the video 
Super restraint. Okay, so this is important. Don't auto aim your super ever unless you know it's one enemy and you're right in their face. Otherwise, always manually aim it and always like never rush with the aims. Always just like make sure that you can actually hit what you want to hit. Otherwise, you're just gonna hit a wall. And the snipe super. So the snipe super is when you super an enemy from a great distance. So uh, the previous tips of misdirection and spot prediction, these both use snipe supers because you're hitting them from a long range and you are hitting them when they don't expect you. Early super is when you rush in like right as the round starts. So you would usually do this in knockout and brawl ball, basketball, volleyball, these as well. It's essentially when you like rush towards the enemy right as the round starts. You can get a stun, you can get some good damage, but most importantly, you can knock them off balance. Like they will be on guard, but they won't, you rush in and their organization completely falls apart and then your teammates can also come in and uh, help you out over here. And maybe you'll survive it as well and you'll get some good value. Escape supers, just like with uh, misdirection, escape supers are also something that a lot of people don't think about like they'll tell you don't use your super to escape and that's usually true in theory it's easy to get because it's four hits but in practice people are good at dodging so if you dying would lead to you losing the game that is a good situation for you to use your super as a means of escape it's totally fine because you are getting more value out of the super by not hitting anyone if you use it in such a situation. If you have more stars, if you have a lot of gems, if you if you simply want to retreat and heal up in like a knockout match, these are these are perfect situations where you can use the escape super. Rotating focus. Okay, so rotating focus is a bit harder to explain. It's not a technique that you can like do. It's more of a thing you need to keep in your mind. So rotating focus is essentially the fact that fangs have to be constantly aware of all three enemies and where they are. It's like Fang, Primo, um, Mortis, brawlers that have great mobility, can move around a lot, can cross the map with their supers even. These kinds of brawlers you need to play with rotating focus. This is going to allow you to do a lot of things like decide which enemy to super first when you're sneaking. It'll help you with spot prediction as well. Whom to snipe, how to misdirect your opponents. Um, in this clip over here, I knew that the Fang was coming for the ball from behind. Once I finished my encounter up here, I instantly super downwards because I know where that Fang's going to be. So just like that, you need to be aware of where everyone is. When to stun. Essentially, the main condition for using the stun gadget is that you must only use it if using the stun helps you gain some kind of advantage. So if it saves you from a death, if it helps you score a goal, this is where you would usually use the stun. Sneak priorities. When you are supering more than three people or two people, you need to be careful whom you super first and last. You don't want to super something that counters you, like a Shelly. Let's let's simplify this. How do we simplify this? Super in a way, uh, the chain will end with you hitting your weakest enemy. How to use each gadget and star power. Okay. Um, let's start with the star powers because that's the passive ability. Divine Souls, the shield star power, you should be only using it in the situation where your enemies are like glass cannons, if they can do a lot of damage in a single shot. Obviously this is in power league, in ladder you can't predict this. The main use of it is to take away the brunt of the damage of, a, of one projectile. So it's usually only helpful against brawlers that shoot just one projectile. Fresh Kicks, the super recharge star power. It's all about spotting a, weak en a weakened enemy who is almost dead, that is enemies who have less than 1500 health, and supering onto them thereby charging your super. Uh, the Popcorn Gadget, um, it's an area control gadget, right? So you would only use it to defend an area. Um, this will not help you a lot if you're defending because if the enemies are long range they can just shoot you from a distance and if they're short range they'll usually be tanky so they just rush through it. The most value is in offensive situations where you captured an area and you want to keep people out. And finally the stun gadget which I already explained so we don't need to go over that again. pre a kill it's a simple thing it's like hitting a main shot before supering and then getting a kill. Um, here is an example. Getting hit for the damage buff is something that I think uh, people know that when you like take damage below a certain percentage then your your damage gear activates but with fang allow yourself to lose health in order to activate the damage gear don't become reckless when you're using this like you just don't want to rush in uh, and be like oh i want to get so much damage so i can activate my damage gear no don't do that only like just allow this to happen if you feel like oh i can just take a hit here and kill this guy then it's fine you can go ahead and do that but most of the times you don't want to be reckless and finally how to deal with other fangs how do you deal with other fangs well there are two types of fangs there'll be a fang that uses divine souls and there'll be a fang that uses fresh kicks let's talk about divine souls first a fang that uses divine souls will generally be stronger the shield star power divine souls actually does give you 
a huge advantage against other fans. As for fresh kicks, the matchup is fairly even, but just make sure that you're not the person who attacks first. You let the other guy attack first and they will use their gadget. But what you can do is by the time all of their ammo ends, then you actually have more ammo than they do, about two ammo more you should have. So here you can just stun them and now you'll have your damage gear active so you can do two shots and then you will easily win that matchup. And those were 20 essential fang skills that you can try out right now. Z out.